Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be walking you through something very interesting and it's called Played ML. It's actually managed by Vertex.ai, which is one of Intel's artificial intelligence product groups. So you may be wondering, well, what does Played ML do? So when you generally think of using something like Keras, Keras sits on top of TensorFlow or it can sit on top of Theano, you know, amongst others as well. The challenge, especially with TensorFlow, which is a lot more popular, is that it really runs on the back end of a CUDA core, which is based on an NVIDIA GPU. Now, if you're a Mac user like I am, you can't really officially integrate NVIDIA with Mac because the two are not compatible right now due to driver issues. So really, a lot of the Mac users today are using AMD GPUs. However, you can't use an AMD GPU with TensorFlow, at least not with a lot of finagling. So there comes Played ML. And what Playdem allows you to do is it allows you to be agnostic to the platform. So you could be running on Linux, Mac, or Windows, and you can use anything from an AMD GPU or a NVIDIA GPU. And so there's this great article on medium.com, which is a fantastic website you guys should consider visiting, especially if you are into the machine learning, artificial intelligence space. But this kind of gives you an example of how Keras works. So Typically, Keras would sit on TensorFlow and then use the NVIDIA GPU. So let's say you have a computer that uses OpenCL. Um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to use Keras. It allows you to plug into Played ML in between and then go and use your NVIDIA GPU using OpenCL, your AMD, or your Intel one. And again, if this was Mac-based, uh, then I would actually have the option of using an AMD using Metal, which is what we're going to talk about as well. Um, or an Intel one as well using OpenCL or Metal. So when I want to activate my internal GPU, I can actually use the Intel Metal version, which you'll see in the list as well. And for those of you who may not know, using a GPU can be significantly faster than using a CPU. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to put that to the test. I've actually gone to the Played ML GitHub page, and on this page, it'll walk you through everything you need to do, including installing it, uh, based on the different types of operating systems that you have. So if you have Linux, Mac, or Windows, it's going to tell you how to go ahead and install it. I'm going to leave a link to this page in the description. Now, as we go down, what we're also going to be looking at is I'm going to be using this exact code verbatim, line for line. And what this code is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to go ahead and run your own neural network on a model that was trained based on the VGG19 classification model which I'll walk through in a second um, and it's also based on using the CIFAR10 data set from Keras and if you're wondering what that is the CIFAR10 data set is basically a data set that you know consists of 60,000 images and so and it does some classification against it or it's a data set to do the classification against it it's got 50,000 images for training and about 10,000 images for test so this is the data that we're going to be using what the VGG19 model does is it's actually a 19 layer neural network. And what it does is it will go ahead and train multiple images and it's able to classify it into things like a pen, pencil, cat, dog, and all that other kind of stuff. So a lot of that stuff is pre-written for us here. And really what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this line on and off to benchmark our CPU versus our GPU. So let's, let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Sublime text file. And this is the file, like I said, that I got from GitHub. The other thing I wanna go ahead and open is I also wanna open the activity monitor. Now, the other thing I wanna go ahead and show you is I wanna bring over these windows called CPU history, the CPU graph, and also the GPU history. And I wanna show you how these things are gonna go full throttle when I turn on and off the GPU. So let me see if I can go ahead and close some of the different processes that are running on my CPU just so that I'm not killing it completely and bottlenecking it. I'm going to take the ones that are using the most CPU usage right now. So I'm going to quit Docker because Docker is one of them. And I think that's about it. And Sublime's the next one and I kind of need Sublime. So. So let's go ahead and fire this. I mean, this is gonna be indicative of normal usage for me anyways. For those wondering, this is a 2018 MacBook Pro. So here we go, let's run these tests. So let me move that window back. So right now I'm gonna run this with just the CPU because I've turned off PlatML. 
and then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and activate your GPU using PlayML. So let's do this. So you saw down there it actually said TensorFlow background, backend, sorry. So using TensorFlow backend. And so what you're going to see very soon is as this is starting to run and starting to do all these computations, you'll see these actually, so, oh, there you go. So you'll actually see these starting to rise quite a bit. And you may even hear in the background my CPU roaring like crazy. And what that means is right now it's going to use a CPU full throttle to start computing some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run in the back end. I'm going to fast forward till the point we till we get the results and then we'll see where we get there. So I'm going to stop talking right now and let this run. All right, so that took about 248 seconds or so. And you, as you saw, these things are running full throttle. So this is going to eventually start to come down, as you can see over here as well. Um, but what implication does that have? I mean, when this is running full throttle, that means that there's other computer applications that you're trying to use, i.e. your browser, which can be very CPU intensive, things like Photoshop and any other kind of tool that you're using. When you clog up your CPU like this, you will be in a position where your computer is either going to reboot itself because it's all tapped out of performance um, or your programs are going to suffer or your machine learning model is going to suffer. But when you attach on something like a GPU and, ex and especially an external GPU, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to go through the Iris one, which is the built-in performance wasn't that great. I am going to go through the Vega 56, which is an external eGPU that I've set up. And that is connected using a Thunderbolt 3 connection, which is, I believe, a 40 gigabyte per second connection. So fairly fast. So in order for us to do this, first, let me show you how we're going to go ahead and activate this so that it actually knows what to use. So we're going to go back into our terminal. We're going to go and type in something called PlayML hyphen setup. And as you do this, it's going to say, do you want to go through the experimental device support? You're going to hit yes, because that's the only way you're going to get access to all of these. Now, the architecture that Apple works on is actually the metal architecture. If you have something else, like maybe a PC, you may want to use OpenCL. But in our case, even if I wanted to test the internal graphics card or the external graphics card, I'm going to choose the metal platform. And because I want to test six, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and hit six and this is going to now activate my vega 56 and then i'm going to save my settings and hit yes the other thing i'm going to do here is remove this so that it does use the plate ml um, back end and what you're going to see is this is actually going to start firing up but i'm curious to see how long it's going to take so let's go ahead and run this And I can hear my GPU in the background going off and it's already done. So 10.688 seconds. It ran for a little bit and now it's gonna go back down. No big impact to the CPU while that ran because I was running it on the GPU. But you know, like just look at that time difference. That's almost like a 25 times speed improvement um, that you can run this stuff in. And as you notice, like I said, even when I did have this little blip here in my GPU, it didn't impact my CPU, which means that if I'm running other intensive projects on the side or other programs on the side, it's not going to have a negative impact. So hopefully that gives you some insight in terms of how much more effective a GPU can be. And you can actually use your AMD GPU card with using something like PlayML. I'm going to link all of this stuff in the description for you, but this was really a benchmark to help you understand how you can amp up your machine learning game by using some of the hardware you may have already and not know you can use it and also keep in mind if you connect an external gpu to possibly an older computer you may not get thunderbolt 3 performance you may get thunderbolt 2 which is going to be a little bit slower but still a heck of a lot faster than a cpu you can always grab an old computer hook up an eGPU on it and run your machine learning models against it as well so hopefully guys you found this educational you found this informative and if you did Please consider liking this video and hitting that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye.